Hello, I'm Ann Brown, and in this video, I'm going to give a tutorial of a new tool at Soybase called a Genotype Comparison Visualization Tool, or GCIVIT for short. So what is GCIVIT and how is it used? GCIVIT extracts information from a VCF file and does a pairwise comparison between two or more lines within that VCF file. GCIVIT will then plot these differences on the chromosomes, so then a user can visualize where these differences lie. One use case would be to plot the differences between a progeny and its parents. That way a user can identify which regions were inherited from which parent. Another use case could be that multiple lines are very similar but have different phenotypes. GCIVIT can plot all of these lines and then a user can identify where exactly these differences lie that can attribute to the phenotypic differences. To get to GCIVIT from the Soybase homepage, please look under the Tools tab. Under that tab, you will see at the bottom Genotype Comparison Tool, or GCIVIT. Now click on it. Now we are at the GCIVIT front page. Let's go through an example to show how GCIVIT works. The first step is to select a reference genotype. First, we select a color to represent the reference genotype. In this tutorial, I am going to use the default green color. Next, we select a data set to select a line from. In this tutorial, I am going to use the demo set SoySNP50K subset, which is a selection of 20 lines extracted from the SoySNP50K SNP chip. Finally, we select a line from the data set. In this tutorial, I'm going to select the first line, which is PI424032, or GSOJA. Once we have selected a reference genotype, we are going to add a comparison and choose a line to compare to our reference genotype. So first, like the reference genotype, we want to pick a color to represent the comparison. In this example, I'm going to pick the red color. Since GCIVIT can only compare lines within the same data set, the data set box has already been filled and cannot be changed. Finally, we select the genotype we want to compare to GSOJA. In this demo, I'm going to choose PI518671 or Williams82. In addition, I can add another line to compare, but in this tutorial, I will only be using one. Next, we will move on to the display options. First are the general options, which include title, bin size, ruler display, and ruler interval. I am going to fill in the title box with test demo and continue with the default options. Bin size controls the number of base pairs used for the comparisons. Ruler display is where the ruler should be displayed on the picture. This includes the left hand side, right hand side, both sides, or no ruler at all. And finally, ruler interval is the number of base pairs between major divisions on the ruler. For more information on these options, please refer to the help documentation at the bottom of the screen. The next set of options refer to what gets displayed on the left and right hand side of the chromosomes. Both the left and right features have the same options. For display type, there are four options. These four options include none, histogram, heat map, and haplotype. For this tutorial, I am going to show the histogram. For more information on each display type, please refer to the help documentation at the bottom of the screen. For comparison, there are three options. These options are total, different, and same. The total option 
shows the total number of SNPs within that data set. The different option displays only the differences in SNPs between the two selected genotypes. And finally, the same comparison displays the SNPs that are the same between the two selected genotypes. The filter genotypes option will restrict only the genotypes that you select to the picture. Max is the value cutoff for displaying maximum height on the glyph. Min is the value cutoff for displaying anything. Any count smaller than this number will not be displayed. Now let's hit the display button. The display screen is interactive. We can move the picture left and right to see all of the chromosomes. If we click on a bin, we get more information about that bin. For example, if we click on this bin, we can scroll down and click to view this specific genomic region on the Soybase Genome Browser. We can also click to see this genomic region at the Legume Information Systems Context Viewer. And finally, let's download the image. To do this, we will click on the Download button. Once we get to the download page, we can download the image as an SVG or a PNG. In this example, I'm going to download the image as a PNG. From the download page, a user can also download the raw data as a GFF format. This concludes the tutorial of an overview of GCivit. Thank you for watching, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact the Soybase team. Our information is on the Soybase homepage.